Looking to enrich your growing area with carbon dioxide and using propane or natural gas as the source for that? Here at Tobacco University, we're going to describe this exact situation. All right, let's get into the video using propane or natural gas as carbon dioxide source for cannabis production. So first off, just a general word of caution. Uh, some of these units can be a potential fire hazard, so caution when you're, you're using these. Units maybe need adjustment to reduce the chance of contaminants being released into the grow space. Example, ethylene and carbon monoxide can be added through incomplete combustion. So when using propane, for example, it does come with these warnings. Should be This should be on the propane tank that you're using. If there was complete combustion, propane combined with oxygen will simply produce carbon dioxide and water. We want the carbon dioxide to help the plants grow, but water will help will increase the humidity, so just be aware of that. However, if there's incomplete combustion, we still have propane uh, with combining with oxygen. It will still produce carbon dioxide and water, but there also will be free carbons as well as carbon monoxide, two things that we don't want to have in the gross space because we're not getting that pure or uh, high percentage transfer. Now, specialized natural gas burners, this is what they would look like. These are categories as an unvented heater, and they have that nice kind of uh, blue glow to the flame, indicating it's burning very hot, adding heat to the growing environment, which can be advantageous in colder months. But be aware that plants can only utilize the carbon dioxide during the lights on uh, cycle of the photosynthetic process. Now, direct fired heaters is another uh, example here. Uh, they intake outside uh, combustion air. They have improved efficiency and safety. These units will produce carbon dioxide and heat at the same time, and they've been utilized in a lot of greenhouse and growing situations. So this is another consideration if you're looking at increasing carbon dioxide to your growing facility and helping to increase plant production overall.